it's a nice way to start. <laughs> y'all uh happy valentine's day happy <laughs> february 14th happy black history month it's 8 30 ish right now um on the way to the golf course get some practice in i work at 12 um but we got a few hours before then where we're gonna get some work in but i'm on the way to chick-fil-a right now what do y'all get from chick-fil-a in the morning what's the go-to breakfast order for me it's the the like hash burrito chicken that's nice with some tater tots and some uh some lemonade i'm gonna slide this way this is the anthem hello yes thank you yeah happy valentine's day <laughs> the only person to tell me happy valentine's day today I joke, I joke, I kid, I kid. It's a nice way to start. I had somebody ask me what my hobbies were recently. I don't really know what to tell them. Because I wouldn't say golf is a hobby because it's a career now, you know, like it's how I make a living. So I wouldn't say golf is a hobby. I wouldn't really say gym is a hobby either. I mean, maybe, <sighs> but like, I don't know, like what, what classifies like a hobby, you know? Got dirt in my shoe. What do I think about that call? That last call of the Super Bowl? I'm not gonna lie, I didn't watch it, but I heard it was controversial. I'm a I'm a Saints fan, and so if anyone knows the pain of terrible calls or no calls in big games, it is I. So I guess I can kind of run through my schedule. <laughs> Um, moving forward, like here in the near future, and also just kind of my, you know, my plan moving forward with my professional golf career as I hit some of these balls. For the near future, we've got the Jim Thorpe Invitational in Orlando, Florida, and then after that, we have our first. APGA tour event. So I play on the on the APGA tour, the Advocates Professional Golf Association tour. Um, and we have our first tournament late February in Palm Springs, California. So for the next little over two weeks, I'll be on the road, and hopefully we'll be able to capture a lot of a lot of cool content for. Um, for YouTube and for Instagram and for TikTok and all that stuff. So it should be fun. Um, I'm looking forward to it. As far as my goals for professional golf, so I can give a little backstory of kind of how I got started. So I didn't plan on competing at all um, in college. I transferred a couple times and had a uh, very interesting college career. Ended up transferring to North Carolina Central University after getting my associates at a junior college. Yeah, I walked on the team and luckily was able to play well enough to get a starting spot. During my year and a half there, after my senior year the APGA has a collegiate top five um, rankings <clears throat> of basically the top five black graduating um, golfers in the country 
and I was able to I was able to slide my way in that fifth spot um so I got in and basically with the top five rankings you had a lot of benefits um basically getting your first year of professional golf paid for um travel expenses and entry fees and a bunch of different opportunities um through that so yeah that's how i that's how i turned pro i turned pro in june of 22 of last year <clears throat> and i've been playing on the apga um since then i have played in a couple non apga events I did Corn Ferry um, pre Q, and I did a couple of uh, just like mini tours in around North Carolina. But the goal moving forward, obviously, is to make it to the PGA Tour. How we're gonna get there looks different for everybody um, that's on mini tours. The most, I guess, straightforward route would to be Corn Ferry. Where I'm at now is trying to figure out if I want to go the corn fairy route just like straight out. Um, if I just want to go and try and make it through all the, the three stages of, of Q school, or if I want to go another route, whether it be Latin America or Canada or PJ Tour Canada. As of right now, we're, we're playing all the APJ events this year. I think I've got 11 on the schedule, um, possibly more, but 11 for sure. But yeah, as of right now, that's the that's the plan. And when I first turned pro, I said I was gonna give it, I'm 24 now, um, birthday's in September. And I told myself I was gonna give it all of my 20s. Um, so until I turn 30, and once I turn 30, I would, you know, see where I'm at and reevaluate and you know make a decision then but I don't really have anything that's hindering me from going all in and pursuing it wholeheartedly right now so as long as that's the case we're gonna we're gonna keep it rocking and so I feel like with something like this that is so dependent on how much time and energy you're willing to put in it um, not necessarily how good you are at the moment um, I think a lot of the guys that have made it from mini tours I, I don't know if they were necessarily the most talented or the most skilled at that moment but I think a big part of um, this professional golf journey is persistence and consistency it's like who can be as consistent for as long as possible and so I mean, you look at somebody like Will Zalatoris, you look at somebody like Max Homa, even like Max Homa now is playing incredible. And I mean, yeah, he was he was good in college, but it's like he still had to go mini tour route as well. And that's a grind. And I feel like that's something that um, can kind of get glossed over just because as soon as you turn pro, you get the title of, you know, a professional golfer. And, and it seems like it can be very you know glorious and like oh you're a professional athlete like that sounds so fun like and it is like don't get me wrong like it is fun but I think once you get out there and start meeting people and start hearing stories of you know how long people have been grinding to make it to the PGA Tour it's like this isn't for the faint of heart and it makes sense why less than one percent of people make it And I think just because less than 1% of people make it, I don't think that means that less than 1% of people are good enough to make it. I think a lot of people are good enough to make it. I don't know that a lot of people are willing to sacrifice the time and the relationships and the energy and the money that it takes to make it all the way. Like even coming from the APGA Tour, you're seeing now like Marcus Bird just won the uh, the farmers and you know he's getting a lot of opportunities now because of because of that and his good play like over the past couple seasons he did an interview with the golf channel recently just kind of talking about his experience and his story like making it from you know mini tours to where he is now like getting some success and 
dude, it's a grind. I think in one part of it he says like, uh, people spend, people will spend their last dollars on rent or on food, but he'll spend it on, you know, playing golf or playing in a golf tournament. And honestly, like that's what you have to do. So I think that was a big reality check once I started playing um, in these tournaments and started meeting people. Um, Cause it's like dudes, I mean, dudes will grind for years, decades. And it's like, if you're not willing to do that and you think it's gonna be a one to two year thing and you're just gonna pop up and start winning majors, like, no, like it's, it's not like that. So yeah, the goal for this year is to get to a point, whether it be through sponsors or through tournament winnings, but to get to a place to where I can support myself fully without um, having to supplement with another job. I just feel like if I want to get to the highest level, like this has to be, this has to be all I'm doing. Um, and I get that. I, I obviously need money. I need to pay bills and, you know, have to make a living right now. But if I could find a way to be able to do that strictly off of golf, that would be an incredible relief. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep working. Uh, it's gonna be a long journey. I can't can't wait to look back at, at these videos and see um, the growth in a couple years and see how far you know my golf career is taking me. I trust that I trust that this is what I'm supposed to be doing, and I believe that the Lord has given me a gift to play this sport and. The main goal above all else is to to glorify Jesus through whatever I do, right? So whether it be golf or, you know, working a sales job or whatever, it's like do all to the glory of God. And that's number one priority. But then after that, it's like, you know, steward this well. Be the best that, that you can and don't take this opportunity for granted. Because there are a lot of people that would rather be doing something like this. And so I don't take this for granted one bit. Uh, and I understand how blessed I am to be able to even pursue this dream. Like I haven't made it at all yet, but um, just to even be chasing it is such a blessing. And I've already had so many great people that support me and what I'm trying to do. From, you know, random people that I meet at, at golf courses or sponsors or family friends it's like easy to get caught up on the handful of people that think it's stupid that you're doing something like this or um that you're you know essentially risking or gambling away your youth but the way i see it it's like if it doesn't work out and i truly give it like everything i can get a job that you know, I somewhat like and can glorify God that way and he'll still be pleased with that. I, I just couldn't, I couldn't get to that age and, and not have at least tried. So I just want to say thank you to all the people that are subscribing, that are going to subscribe. Um, I love all you guys. I actually know a lot of you right now. So uh, that's kind of nice. At some point, hopefully I'll, I'll look back at these videos and, um, you know, the goal is not to be a YouTuber or to be a content creator. The goal is to be on the PGA Tour, the best in the world. Hopefully this channel can just be um, a tool to, you know, help document the journey and um, to build a, a little group of, uh, you know, people that, that believe in what I'm doing. So thank you to everyone who subscribed. Thank you to my sponsors, um, Proud90. That's where the hoodies are. Encore golf. Um, the golf balls I play have been super, super helpful um, and, and have supported me a ton already. We're going to have a good time on this ride. It's going to be fun. There's going to be a lot of ups and a lot of downs. I'm sure there will be some bad golf, but we're willing to be a, a lot of good golf too. But when we make it, I'm going to bring y'all with me.